Hi everyone, welcome to another haul video. It has been a while, definitely, but I finally put in some good stuff. I've been waiting for some new products to be released. Um, so I've got two haul um, for you to share with you today. One is an alleyway stamp haul and the other one is a lawn fawn haul. So this one here, this is the first time I've ever ordered something directly from alleyway stamps. So I did that this time. Usually I get them with Simon Says Stamp, but there were some stamp sets that um, Simon Says Stamp isn't carrying. So I really wanted them and have been waiting for a while for them to come out at Simon Says Stamp and they just haven't come out. So I thought, well, because they had, when you order directly from Alleyway Stamps, they give you one of these mini stamp sets for free. Um, each month they have a new one. So that was a really big bonus. So this February's freebie stamp set, when you spent more than $40, was this one here called Moose and You. And this is the one that sort of just prompted me, yep, I'm putting in an order because I really, really, really want this one. So it has this really cute moose <laughs> who's kind of quirky and wonky and everything all at the same time. And you've got this adorable little owl down here. And then you've got some great accessories. You've got two little birds, one solid and one outline. You got the little falling snow, or you can also make them like little stars. There's a little heart, and they have this like double circle thing here. That's like the arrow target. And then here you've got the arrow, so I thought that was really cool. Um, two different types of baubles and some leaf, and they've got moosing you and hugs for the sentiments. And this stamp really goes well with this other one that I got, which is um, a newbie that came out in February called Branching Out. So I really love these two together, that's why I wanted to get them. Um, I think it'd be great to have this um, target and arrow in one of the like birch trees here. And I know I have lots of birch tree stamps, but this is the first one I've got that's kind of crooked and you know a little bit skew if and all that sort of stuff. And I really like that it had some character. And I think it's just great. So you've also got like this big circle, this black circle, so you can also make that a hole in the tree. So I think that's really good. And you've got a few different types of birds here. You've got um, this one that's facing you. You've got two little uh, facing each other, but solid birds. And then you've got this really wonky, uh, funny looking rabbit, which is very cute. And then the same thing with this hedgehog. Um, and then you've got this really nice box that's curled up. And you've also got things like a little line with the bow to hang, you know, either of the two birdhouses off of. You've got a little mushroom, a little tree branch, and a little puffball. I'm not sure how I use the puffball yet, so I'll have to check out the website and see what that's all about. But I just really, really liked these stamp sets. So it's great for scene building. Now you've got like the moose that can be standing in between trees and everything else. So I think that's really great and obviously the birds can sit on the branches and you can have a hole and then put a little bird sitting there and so it looks like it's popping out of the hole. I think that would be really cute. And you can even make it like a inside of a car a card thing like make the hole and then have a little tail hanging out the other side or something like that. Um, and sentiment that's with this one is today is your day. So I think these are just really really cool stamp sets that I can use with any of my critters, especially these trees. And I just think this moose is really good. And what I like about alleyway stamp sets, like I love lawn fawn, but lawn fawn is very cute. And sometimes I'm trying to make a um, card for the, like, you know, masculine card. And I don't want something, I want something a little bit quirky, like this guy who looks like he's, what, me? Or stuck in a, you know, headlights or whatever staring at you just something a little bit not so cutesy to make some scenes for more masculine cards so that's those two and then I also got this one this was I believe the January's freebie but obviously after the month is over then she charges about eight dollars for one of these and I just love this one it's called um, Nessie and you get <laughs> the Loch Ness Monster so you get this big pond and then you also get this, and it's three stamps together, so you can make it as far away as you like. But you've got like the head and the tail and the little hump in the middle. And then you've got two cattails, some grass, and then the sentiment, you're not alone. And I think that's great, because you can use that with any monster or alien type or fantasy creature sort of thing. And then you've got the little ripple in the water to put underneath of these, so it looks like it's actually um, coming out of the water. So I just think that's a really cute one. And I just thought it was super cute because I haven't seen like any stamps with like, 
you know, the Loch Ness Monster or anything like that. So I just thought that was really great. And there's this one here, and it is called Oogles. And what I love about this one is this guy right here. He is amazing. I love the curled horns, little smirk on his face, and just the shape of him. He's just really great. But then you have all these other great monsters that you can make a lot of cards with that are you know, going to be great for any sort of, again, masculine cards, which is why I was really targeting alleyway stamps. You got like this cool monster here, and then the tall one, and then you've got, you know, one that's just eyes and a big, well, it could be a dust ball sort of thing, and then you've got this one with the big nose, and this one here, which could be like an upside down Pac-Man, and this little guy here, and then there's these two here, which are kind of similar but different size, and then you got two presents and a little cake. And you got Monster Wishes, I Adore You, for sentiment. So I just think this will be really, really good to make um, cards with. Obviously, that's why I bought it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so they'll be great to color because they're outline stamp sets. And I think they'll just look good either together or on their own. This chickie here, she has heaps and heaps of eyes. So she can be, you know, she's got the I Adore You to go with it sort of thing. So I just wanted something a little bit quirky. And I really, really, really like this guy. This one's big enough to be a standalone on a card and just have some really cool background behind him or um, do some stenciling with, you know, the just paint, well, whether you're using sprays or, or anything, just to make a really funky backdrop behind him. And I really, really, really want to color his, rain, his horns in a rainbow color. I think it would be great. So yeah, that's what that one is. And then the other one I got, um, which is an at Simon Says Stamp, is Bumps in the Night. And I thought this was a great, I know Halloween's a long way away, but I just love this one. And I've been, I think it's great. It's like, I like you, but if zombies chase, um, if zombies chase this, you're tr I'm tripping you. So I just love that. I think it's great. You got this big hunchback, you know, crazy dude here with his lips shown together. You got some brains here and he's got brains. Batty for you. Do not open until October 31st. And he got two bats. A really freaky looking crow. And I just thought this was just such a great stamp set to really do and spook up. And that sentiment is just what's, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah, so this was my haul with um, LA Stamps. And I was going to mention that um, international shipping for four, three to four stamp sets was um, $12, but then you got one free $8 stamp set. So it was only like, if you think about it, $4 to get it all here. So I was really, really happy. It came really quickly. I can only say good things about um, shipping directly from them, plus the better selection because Simon Says Stamp isn't carrying everything that they've got. So I cannot wait to start creating with these little guys and make little scenes and even use the little t mushroom toadstool thingy just to line the um, bottom of the trees and I think this would be great to have this tree you know, this way on the um, just laying on the ground like a fallen down tree I think that would really be cute and you could have the hedgehog sitting on top or the bunny sitting on top so I think this will just be a lot of fun to play with um, so my other haul order so it's pretty much predominantly lawn fawn but I got this again from the hallmarkscrapbooking.com. Um, I waited for the la last Lawn Fawn um, release and they had it that day. Like they were really up to date with having all the products available. And they had um, a pretty much $3 off all the new stamp sets and a little bit more for the dies. So I was really impressed. <laughs> Sorry, that's my little kitten who's getting much bigger from the last time you saw him who's coming to check out what I'm doing. So um, anyway, like because I got a couple of extra things, um, I could have had a lot cheaper for shipping, but I think it was about 20 or $22 shipping, but only because I added these in and the savings I had, the discounts I had for these um, matched the extra cost for shipping. So it would be like ordering, um, getting it for the same retail price. So that's why I did it. So I might as well start with these ones. I've gotten, now this is the Tucaneco, um De De Delicata Golden Glitz Ink. So I know probably a year ago someone who was watching here recommended this one to me for a gold ink because I was really disappointed with the Hero Arts um, gold ink that I bought. And I finally, finally bought it. So I've sort of been putting up with my um, embossing powders, but I really just wanted to get it. 
and it's been out of stock a few times or didn't quite make the cut when I was ordering. <laughs> and uh, But anyway, I've got it now, so I haven't even opened it yet, so I really want to... It looks like a really, really uh, rich color, not a dull gold, so I think this will be really great. And this is that 3M micro pour tape that seems to be the thing to use um, to hold down your paper so that it doesn't, and it peels up easy so it doesn't rip. Um, like maybe the painter's tape. So anyway, it was only, I think, $2 or something. And I got some just to give it a try. And I love watercoloring, so um, I thought, why not? I'll just give her a try and see how it goes. So hopefully it's as good as everyone says it is. Um, aside from that, so I got um, everything but one lawn fawn thing. So I'll do this other lawn fawn thing first. And this is my very first stamp set with W plus 9, who I'm really falling in love with right now. So um, I will be ordering more stamp sets, and I actually have already ordered one other one, but there's a few more that I want for my next Simon Says Stamp Order. So this one is called Bubble Talk, and I am just in love with this elephant. And it's got four different um, bubbles that could be blowing out of its nose, and I think it'd be great. And like you could color these bubbles in like that clear but then you have you know the rainbow colors when you blow bubbles in the little spots this one here has that cut out so that you, these bubbles will fit in there so that you can have it perfectly placed which I think is fabulous and two of the bubbles are solid so one says hello and one says sending smiles so I think this was just such a great stamp set I mean I really love the idea of an elephant blowing bubbles and it'll be super cute to make a scene and be really cute you've got plenty of little sentiments I haven't pulled them out to see if they'll fit in the bubbles, but I'm assuming they will because it's sort of made for that. Um, but you've got sending smiles, hello, I miss you, missing you, thinking of you, make a wish, and I love you. And a couple little mini hearts as well, and yeah, there's that other set of bubbles there. So I think this would be like really good sentiments, and you can use like your other stamp sets with small sentiments and pop them in there as well if you want. Or you don't even need to, you can just have like the elephant blowing. A whole bunch of different balloons um, or balloons bubbles blowing bubbles and like you can have him in one corner and then a heap of bubbles just you know sort of blowing away from him I think that would be really super cute so I cannot wait to um, color this guy um, yeah just super excited and there's even these two little borders I don't know really what I'll do with the borders I'm not really a border kind of girl but um, they ha are like they're the exact opposite so you got one that's um, uh, just like two border lines and then the hearts in the middle and the other one's the exact reverse so um, it doesn't stamp the hearts itself stamps the middle part I hope that makes sense the way I explained it um, but yeah so this one is really really great and cannot wait to play with that one um, aside from that I've also well it's the bon bon stuff <laughs> so from the last release I've only got the one item I think in here which is the small stitched rectangle stackables. I've been really using my large sticked ones, stitched <laughs> stackable rain, uh, re bleh, rectangle dies a lot, um, especially the largest size. And this one sort of fits in between the other ones. The bottom, smallest two, I don't really see a lots of use for them, but I'm getting so much use out of the bigger sizes that it's really, really worth me having them because I'm using them on like every second card. So I really just love the, you know, using that nice framed stitched look and it just sort of frames the scene really pretty like and it's great for making um, shaker cards because you can use the big set and then the smaller one and make a nice like frame on the outside and then have your shaker on the inside. So I really just wanted to get this one so I'd have the in-between ones. Um, and there was a pretty good deal. I'm pretty sure it was like $6 off buying it from Hallmark Scrapbooking. Um, so first up, I've got this one here, and it's called Scripty Sayings. And it's got eight Scripty Sayings. And I mean, like, if you look at this stamp set, it's pretty much full of stamps. So there's not a lot of wasted space. They really packed them in here, and I really, really like that. Um, and they've got really, really... Like they've got a full range.